bill by the court cashier. Each of the sureties hearing Honorable Arion, York, Audrea, you are a male adult, member of parliament for Alinga South constituency and a resident of Alinga County in Yumbe District. Count one, doing grievous harm, contrary to section 219 of the Penal Code Act, Cap 120. It is alleged that you, Honorable Arion York, Audria, on the 29th day of September 2022, at the main building of Parliament in Kampala Central, in Kampala District, and look for a deep grievous arm to one assistant superintendent of police, Senge Alex. The accused person, have you had and understood the statement and particulars of the offence read to you in count one? Count, count two, assaulting a police officer in the execution of his duties, contrary to section 238B of the Penal Code Act. It is alleged that you, Honorable Arion <coughs> York Audria, on the 29th day, of September 2022 at the main building of Parliament of Uganda in Kampala Central, Kampala District, unlawful assaulted one assistant superintendent of police, saying Alex, the police officer who at that material time of assault was in the due of execution of his duty as a police officer. The accused person, have you had the statement and particulars of the offence read to you in count two? Yes, sir. Is it true or not true? Not true. It's made up for bail. The applicant seeks to be bail on grounds that the offence with which he is charged is payable by this court that he has a fixed place of abode within court's jurisdiction and that the offence with which he is charged is not grave and he has not <coughs> any past criminal record and is not likely to. As far as the accused person has presented, sure it is on whose strength he prays that he be granted bail. The accused person has presented before court an introductory letter from the chairman LC1 of Musasa LC1 Chira Ward Chira Municipality in Wakiso District, which is well within its court's jurisdiction. Thus, court will take that the fixed place of abode of the applicant herein is located as herein above indicated. The accused person has presented three sureties before court, to which surety one, Honorable Oak. Oguzi Lee Dennis, Surety to Honorable Loki John Baptist, both members of Parliament and serving in the 11th Parliament together with the accused person who is the applicant here. Surety 3 Ejiku Robert is the Chief Executive Director of the Uganda Tea Development Agency Limited and has presented himself as a friend to the accused person. The sureties introduced themselves to court via their national identity cards, their work IDs. That, that is work identification cards and their introductory letters from their places of residence. The surety is upon interrogation by court. We are well aware of their duty as, and role as sureties to both court and the accused person. The land chief state attorney herein has not objected to these sureties that were presented before court, save that the land state attorney informed court that they were not close family members. The rationale of having sureties is for there to be a safeguarding place to ensure the attendance of the accused person to court once he or she is required to do so. These sureties are well known to the accused person. They have the command and control and the capability of ensuring the attendance of the accused person to court once required to do so. In the event of failure, I also find that the sureties have the capability 
to have their various bonds executed with court realized as against them. I therefore find assurities to be substantial. The land chief state attorney has informed court that investigations into this matter are complete and the state is ready to commence trial in this matter. The fear of state of the state as regards likelihoodness of interference with witnesses in this matter by the accused person is combated by the very fact that investigation theory now complete. I find that there is no likelihoodness of interfering with the witnesses by the accused person. The land state attorney has prayed that court takes note of the nature of the offense being personal and it involve, as it involves an attack on a police officer who was executing his lawful duties. Indeed, court does take cognizance of the same and in the grant of bail hearing, stringent terms shall be imposed on the accused person to safeguard any occurrences of a similar nature. But in any case, this offense is available by court. In the premises where the offense is available by court, the accused person has a fixed place of abode within court's jurisdiction and has presented before court substantial sureties, hereby grant bail to the accused person on the following terms. This person is to pay cash of 1 million shillings that is payable to the bank, particulars of which shall be availed by the court cashier. Each of the sureties herein is ordered to land cash bond of 10 million shillings. Should the accused person herein abscond trial upon the arrest, he shall be made to forfeit to the government of Uganda 15 million shillings that will be cash. And the accused person shall deposit with this court his passport until the conclusion of the matter before court. I saw you. Tuagala kwe baza koti, orokubange edabi ya mazima, neda banga kasango alio ni keba demu funana, sika amanyi nga boye yogede, eda ne muwabelu. Nja kwe baza wakaba pali ya mentibo na vaze, okuyimi lilaona ye, kubanga alio ni muna fe. Koligi wa fe, tetumula banga konga akola kavu yoko na, tetumula banga konga akola o musango guna mupali ya menti. Chona e chiba deo, tusubira ntino kote ja kusala mazima. O musango ne gove. Kwa fu, uh, terms uh, is a bail. Mugenda, mwa committees, mwa committees wa zigo velila. Nukuda mkoti kudeti ya wa seti. O mla muzaga menti, o muntu wa vunani wa agenzo kusanganga, taza angako musango guna. Mubaka wa parliament, ya chikiri la bantu, eye imiridua wa wakaba parliament. Ndolwe chotu suvira ntino tamzeze zutu wededua koti. No mula mzachila bintuja zigo velila. Chovula wangomutu wafamuwa debe.